It's Friday morning, a little before 4 a.m. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't think any of these stars are gonna pick up. Anyway. I'm here, I don't know if you can see me. I'll get my headlight. Okay, it's Friday, August 27th. Here I am, and here's my headlight. I'll dim it a little for you. That's the emergency blinker. There we go, that's a little bit dim. In any case, today's hike is the four tops, flat top, notch top, knob top, and gable top. I will not be doing a lot of videoing on the way up. So this is your introduction. Bye. Good morning. It's about 5.40 something a.m. We've hiked almost, I'd say almost two miles up the flat top trail. You can see the lights of Estes Park down there. This is why I get to the Bear Lake Trailhead at 5 in the morning. Just beautiful. And I'm going to turn off my headlamp and see if that does anything to the... And everything's grainy. So I think the light actually helps. Well, I'm going to keep hoofing. We're at the Dream Lake Overlook. It's about 6.08. Longs and Pagoda. Batch top. Great view of a boat is from here. Looks really pretty in this light. There's flat top. Or no, that's Hallett. The moon's up there. The tent glacier. Flat top's behind those trees. It's down there. Right here it's very windy. I still only have one layer of clothes. It's evaporating. Because my body heats enough to generate a sweat as it is, but I've got multiple layers because it's probably going to be a little windy and chilly up top. There's Half Mountain. Well, we have a beautiful sunrise that unfortunately... There we go! I was going to say it's very difficult for cameras to get the light right. Yeah, that's closer to what it looks like. Beautiful. This is the sunrise on the on a I think a fir tree. It's like an alpenglow effect. The whole forest has all this pink light coming through it. Just unbelievably beautiful. And this camera is not exaggerating. This is really what it looks like. Look at how green and the sun's through there. Wow. This is unbelievable. Some more alpine glow on the rocks and on that tree.
It's just a few minutes before seven. We're right at tree line. You can see Bierstadt Lake down there. Mummy Range. Beautiful valley. I think over there we got Mills and Wu. If I'm not mistaken. I'll be better able to tell from another angle. Okay, check this out. This is an overlook. You got Flat Top Summit up there. And maybe seven, eight hundred vertical feet below. Hallett. Nice ridge there, Chaos Canyon. Waterfall down there it must be the Chaos or the stream. It must be the Chaos It's a beautiful ridge of Hallett. Summit's kind of a rounded hump, but that jagged part switches in from the Y in Bear Lake. You got Otis over there, that little pointy thing I believe is Taylor. Powell. McHenry's, I was up there. Chief's head. Uh, thatch top. Pagoda. Keeper of the winds up to Long's Peak. And you can also see Storm and Mount Lady Washington. What a view. And we're headed through the last of the Krumholtz. Krumholtz. Greetings. It's 8.45 a.m. I'm at the summit of Flat Top Mountain, the first of the four tops. Uh, beautiful hike, beautiful sunrise, some wonderful alpine glow. Also have to say that uh, this is probably record time getting up flat top for me. This is my fourth time up here. And did it in under four hours, so that's that's not bad considering the elevation game and everything. Uh, so we're about to go hiking on an old Indian trail, the Tonahutu Creek Trail, and that's going to take us to the other summits. Uh, the nice thing is we're at relatively flat going. The wind has picked up, and you noticed I have put on my second layer because I got to the point where I was no longer uh, feeling wet from sweat and I was still working up a heat but wasn't really generating a lot of moisture so when you come to a stop and you're at that point then it's time to put on the second layer. Wind is pretty uh, steady and fast up here. It's about um, I don't know maybe 15 to 20 miles an hour regular steady wind with gusts a little higher but not too much. Um, so far weather looks really good. So let me give you an idea of the trail still coming up. So there's our sign giving the directions to the North Inlet Trail and the Tonahutu Creek and Bear Lake. Okay, so we're heading over here. And then at some point we depart from the trail and just kind of climb along the tundra. Grab the peaks. Okay, here's a look down the gorge to Odessa Lake. It's a little Matterhorn and some other mountains. I've been looking at down the trail because it's good condition. I mean, no rock like that. This is 
looking back down at Bighorn Flats. Okay, it's 9.32. That Karen behind me is Ptarmigan Point, which is the high point on this hike. I forget the exact elevation, 12,300 and change. And on the other side of the ridge, the wind is whipping pretty good. I'm in a <laughs> pretty good wind break right now. And I will probably be putting on one more layer. Although the sun feels warm, but in that wind, it takes your body heat away pretty quickly. So let's take a look here. It's looking over towards some of the rest of the front range. You got Mount Teratoma over here, I think. Maybe not, who knows. <laughs> I should just stop saying what I think things are. Then over here, here you got the mummy range again. All right, and up here is Notch Top. And there's the, the notch in Notch Top. They mark the summit as this left one, but it looks like it's pretty much a knife ridge, so I may just be content to call this higher thing on Notch Top, Notch Top. But that's, uh, that's where we're headed, and we're not too far off. We should get some good views of the gorge. Summit of Notch Top. And there is sort of the, the notches. But this is the true summit. There's no way to get over there without some serious roping. So here's the tundra walk. One has been pretty nice. Um, heading up. This, I believe, is not top. So that'll be the third top. See, there's a few cumulus clouds. So I'm just going to try to keep looking. another overlook. And there's Joe Mills. That's where I was Monday. On those rocks and ridges. But you want to be on the other side. Here's Odessa Lake and Firm Lake. The little Matterhorn. It's here. over. Check out this gorge. That knife ridge goes to the little Matterhorn, which is right there. You can see how glaciers deposited all that, all those boulders. And I am right there. That's, uh, not top, not far, just a little bit of boulder hopping, and I'll be there. Okay, it's 10.49 a.m. I'm on the top of uh, Knob Top. <laughs> Losing track of my tops. This is number three, and I'm by far the toughest. I'm going to switch the camera around here. I'm pretty sure I'm higher than this knob over here. In any case, that's where I've been. And there's Joe Mills. Seems 
tiny. Well, there are clouds, so I want to be descending before noon, well before noon. So I'm just going to have a drink of water and keep on pressing on. See you at Gable Top. Okay, so I just came down this massive talus, and so I'm off Gable Top. And we're back to Tundra. Yay! And this is going to curve around to the north. Gable Top's down there. You can't see it right now because we're not high enough to look down over that ridge. There's Gable Top. Of course, we're not going to be ascending it up those cliffs, but we're going to be walking around the tundra, around to the backside. See at the top. Here's a look at Gable Top. Back there's Knob Top. All right. Almost there. And just so that no one forbids me to do any more peaks, this is the opposite side when you go around. So there's no knife ridge on this one, just to gently up the rocks. And I think I'll do that. So there's Knob Top, which looks more like a mountain from here than it does from, you know, looking other places. All the way down there you got Joe Mills Mountain. And, uh... Mount Wu and Steep Mountains over there. There's the rest of Gable Top. I'm pretty sure that I'm higher than that place. I'm going to check my um, my topo map. According to two GPS downloads, I'm at 11,946. And I believe that's the of Gable Top. If it's not, I think we'll call it good enough because we want to get down this gorge before the clouds move in. So this is Termalin Lake. I'll be hiking down to that. And then through those trees, I'll get to Odessa Lake. So over here, turn off, you can't see, because it's behind that. It basically kind of slopes down around that way through to that kind of dirt trail and then down. I'll have to be careful. But what else is new? There's more. And it's, it's getting me. Uh, there we go. Hi, Mom. This is my great night. All right. Swig some water and head down. I'm on my third liter of a total of four, and I've got some more water back at the camp. Not at the camp, but at the car. All right, down we go. Okay, you can see where the tundra is worn, whether from bighorns or hikers, or combination. That's the way down to the gorge. And I'm gonna try to get down fairly quickly because cloud shadows are starting to come and let's get below tree line. All right. Cowabunga. It's cable top. Oh yeah. Well, this is where I've come down. The descent has been much easier than I anticipated. Uh, the only hard part is there's a fair amount of scree and loose rock, but the way's very clear. I mean, bighorns or hikers have blazed a pretty good trail. Been seeing some pikas. I also have seen a hawk flying around in this gorge, and um, I think you may be hearing its call in the background if you listen. Because that's too loud to be a pika and it's echoing off this cliff. And there might even be two based on the sounds, but I'm not sure. Beautiful. 
actually, before I move on, I think I spotted a ptarmigan here. Okay, I'm in a protected little shelf. You can see the rock above me. I'm about a third of the way down the gorge. There were two other guys who um, got up to Gable Top right as I was leaving, and they're planning on descending the gorge as well. And so I wanted to get in a protected space to check my topo map and everything because um, I don't want any guys kicking rocks on my head. Uh, I've got definitely a certain duck and cover plan that would protect me with my backpack and my hemlet, but it's best not to mess with it. Um, I'm veering a little more towards the right, which would put me away from any rocks that they would be uh, generating. Uh, I'm going to pan around here. So I'm going to be sticking to the green and working my way down around there. Termalin Lake's right around the corner, uh, and you can't really see it here but there's not a whole lot of obstacles between it. Check out this glacier over here. I saw a rock slide, or actually I heard it. You know, hearing it prompted me to look over there and I saw some rocks falling down kind of this stretch, but you could hear them echoing down the canyon. It wasn't that loud, but uh, it was impressive to see. So I, I definitely am glad to be wearing a helmet. And I'm definitely going to be cautious, and I'll try not to cause too many rock slides of my own. Over and out. All right, we're doing okay. This is Termaline Lake. I climbed up a little bit unnecessarily just to make sure I was on the right track, and I am on the right track. There was a big old fat marmot that just bounded across those rocks. I'm continuing to hear uh, pikas as well as occasional hawks. So this is the that's the gorge I descended. This one would have been far worse. Probably do And then down. I'm at about 11,100 feet, having descended about 800 odd feet since uh, Gable Top. Yeah, about five, six hundred feet above um, Termalin Lake, which is down in there. This is the Little Matterhorn Knife Ridge and the Little Matterhorn. I think you can actually climb it by going around back. I will pass on that today. <laughs> anyway, it's a really pleasant rock. I just rested and had a power bar. And so once I get to the Termalin Lake, I will be heading over that way. Termalin Lake is 4.5 miles from the trailhead. And Odessa Lake is 4.1. So, close. Maybe I'm probably a little under six, <coughs> excuse me, a little under six miles from the trailhead, I guess. See you later. Okay, almost home, there's the lake. See, this is all very navigable. Shouldn't be a problem at all. So I'm looking forward to having some lunch at the lake. It's good to be back to treeline.
Okay, so that's where I was and came down. That's the Tourmaline Gorge. This is a little bit of a marsh I had to cross over there. We're right at the lake. Still some wildflowers hanging on, some Bistort uh, King's Crown right there. I forget what those yellow ones were. But let's go. The lake is in the cirque beyond those trees. So let's go and have a good chicken, grilled chicken sandwich with Tillamook cheddar cheese. I believe this is called Tourmaline Creek. It's all the snow melt that goes into the lake which in itself, I believe, has a stream that feeds into a desolate lake. Another view, I'm just crossing to have lunch at the other side of the lake. There's more beauty than can be contained in any one camera angle. Just unbelievable. So we're almost to the other side of the lake, and guess what? There's an op top. Really looks like a peak from here. <laughs> then you got that whole knife ridge of the little Matterhorn. And here you have the lake. I'm hungry. Here we go. Made it to the far side of the lake. What a beautiful cirque. Beef jerky time! You want some beef jerky? Okay, I've basically been climbing a bunch of rocks, or not really climbing the rocks, but you can see it's basically a bunch of debris that glaciers have deposited, and, and there's a stream that runs underneath it. So I've got about a half mile of this kind of stuff till I get to Odessa Lake where the stream feeds in. You can hear the stream in a beautiful meadow. Yeah, Odessa Lake should be down through this gap in that basin. Across the way, you can see the Odessa, Odessa Lake Trail ascending to Bear Lake. You can see there's Cairns. There's one. There's the next one. So there are things to mark the way. It's not half as bad as it looks. There are boulders, there are also solid ground here. I am using my trekking poles a good bit to test rocks and test uh, 
solid ground or places where plants are growing to make sure that things are stable and that there's not a hole. So it should be down in a little bit. That's knob top. Okay, here's Odessa Lake. We're almost back to the real trail. Here's Joe Mills Mountain rising above Odessa Lake. So not a bad peak. And just a little bit of a beautiful walk to the, through the forest. It's been interesting. The trail has been appearing and disappearing and there's cairns, then there's no cairns. And you end up just having to use your best judgment and a compass. Because basically I knew I needed to head due east and that's basically what I've done. And so I'm actually at the eastern end of the lake, which is where the trail picks up. So that's good orienteering. All right, catch in a bit. Odessa Lake, yay. You can see some of the flat top ridge over there. Notch top, little Matterhorn, which looks really impressive from here. But up high, it doesn't look so high. Anyway. Some nice runoff coming down the valley from Odessa Lake. In this daylight, you can see the water runoff from the glaciers. I guess also this time of day when everything would be melting. I'm still on this interminable uphill. But once that's done, it'll all be mostly downhill. It's about 5.30. This is Lake Helene. It's, it was only about uh, 300 yards off the trail. And I thought, well, why not throw in one more lake? I was tired of doing all that uphill and wanted a little downhill. So we're close. I'm now 2.9 miles from the trailhead. See you there unless there's something spectacular in between. Good evening and welcome to my Post Four Tops tailgate party. It's a little after 6.45. I got down about 6.40, so hit the trail at 5 a.m. Got down about 6.40. Um, great hike, five peaks and um, five peaks and four lakes if you want to count Bear Lake, so I think that's gotta be a record. And I think, um, as far as ratings, the Y rates it a B. I'd say it's a very solid B. Uh, I'd probably put it at a B plus um, in comparison to other Bs I've done. Uh, Chapin, Chiquita, and Ypsilon fluctuates between a C and a B sometimes, and they have been listing it as a B for several years. This is much harder. Uh, C, C, and Y goes much higher, but you know it's just beautiful, gentle, gradual terrain. You know, I mean, the elevation is a big factor, and so it probably does deserve a B. Uh, Mount Lady Washington, this is harder. Uh, even though Mount Lady Washington goes quite a bit higher, the terrain is much simpler, and you never have to second guess where you are on your route or where you're headed. It's, it's pretty obvious. Uh, Storm Peak, I'd say this is as about as hard as Storm Peak. They're, they're difficult for different reasons. Storm Peak goes way higher and it this steep ascent from the boulder field at the altitude is uh, is pretty grueling. Um, and there's a little bit of root finding involved on Storm Peak. Not as much as was involved here. Part of what I think makes this hike particularly challenging is the hardest stretch of it happens after you've already done about nine and a half miles, you know, so you've been hiking nine miles and it's all well and good and yeah, there's been a little bit of class three rock climbing but not a whole lot of complicated stuff, mostly tundra walk. And then you get to the gorge 
and then you get to the lake and then you get to the next lake and then you've got the long uphill so your body's tired but um, once I finally got to Lake Helene then I was able to just book it to the trailhead and it was easy so wonderful hike a wonderful hike uh, I don't know that I will do it again anytime soon but uh, I'm certainly glad to have done it and it's it's really been beautiful to check out all the different peaks and valleys and lakes in this one area of the Continental Divide having hiked it three days in a row it's just really been wonderful to, to look at the mountains and so I'm gonna go home where there is a nice watermelon waiting for me as well as some good things to drink I'm thinking about getting a Blue Sky Root Beer, which is really good. Can't get those in New York City. Anyway, signing off for today. Tomorrow's going to be a day off. Don't know what I'm going to do other than some laundry, <laughs> but uh, no big hikes planned tomorrow. I might walk around Beaver Meadows or something, but uh, you won't be you won't be seeing me on on, on any big peaks tomorrow. All right, have a good night. <laughs>